happening. Newly uncovered information reveals that the Obama administration has issued 5.5 million work permits to non-citizens without getting approval from Congress. Now, Republicans are calling for an investigation into that. Joining us now is entrepreneur and filmmaker Dennis Michael Lynch. He's done three films on immigration and its impact on the American worker and on national security. He joins us live. Mr. Lynch, it's good to see you this morning. Good to see you, Tucker. So, over five million people here illegally or who are, don't have green cards mm -hmm. now have work permits thanks to the Obama administration, and Congress never knew? How could that happen? Well, Congress really doesn't know much about what's going on, right? This is all part of Obama's plan. He said he was going to fundamentally transform the country, and I've always been saying it for years. It was going to be through immigration. So what he's doing is he's building himself a ghost army, if you will, right? He gives out work permits to these people, and forever he gets back their loyalty. As he does that, all those workers coming in depresses the wages for the middle class, depresses the wages for the poor. They can never move forward. And so what happens is, slowly but surely, the middle class starts to need the entitlements. Look where we are now. We have 103 million people collecting some sort of welfare, and we have 110 million people working full time. Those numbers continue to go like this. When yes. they switch, he owns the country. He knows that, and it's a one-party nation forever. So how can the president simultaneously get up and with a straight face say, I care about working Americans, people who are you know, making under 100 grand a year say, and I care about wage stagnation, middle class wage stagnation, and at the same time depress middle class wages by letting in millions of low skill workers. You and I just said this before we came on. Anybody who hands out those sort of visas, that many visas, whether you're doing it to illegal aliens or whether you're doing it from people coming overseas and handing them out, you cannot make a claim that you care about the American worker. This crushes the American worker. The people are watching right now who are wondering why they can't get raises or why they can't find a job, this is it right here. It's so funny though, the left used to care about wages. What, what do people who are not rich care about most no. wages and the left used to claim that we're on your side no. but no more they care about elections and obama is very effective in what he's doing i'm telling you this is all part of the big plan these people look you got a middle class person and if they're working right and they're happy they don't want government so they'll usually turn around and vote republican but now when they need to defend their entitlements and that's what he's doing he's slowly but surely making good people depend on those entitlements and so what are they going to do they're going to vote to protect those entitlements and that's why he doesn't care about the midterm elections he just needs to make sure that he hands over his program to the next democrat president he's doing everything he can the other thing that scares the heck out of me when you look at these 5.5 million permits that he's handed out that is the gateway to a driver's license that's yes. a gateway to further documentation and so that's a massive problem when it comes to uh, national security because if you read the 9-11 report the commission report it says the number one way to ensure another 9-11 is to start handing out documents fraudulent documents and if you look at the people who got these 5.5 million permits 25,000 of them right uh, let, let, me, let me say it even worse 50 of them 50 of them were suspected for document fraud a thousand of them were stowaways 25,000 of them are parolees so we're giving these documents to people we don't even know who they are, and if we do know who they are, they're criminals. Right. And I, once you have a once you have a document, of course, you're you're in the system. So here's I mean, there's a constitutional question. Very quickly, mm -hmm. again, Congress not consulted. Is the president constitutionally empowered to change the composition of the American electorate without asking Congress's permission? That is what he's doing. And I got to tell you something. No, I don't see anybody stepping up and trying to stop him. And the only way to solve this, the only way is that these people have to go home. So if there's one little golden nugget in all of this, he's making it easier to find these people because you can trace the documentation. Right. So the next president's got to step up and say, I'm sending them home. That'll never happen. Oh, yes, it will. Dennis Michael Just Lynch. need the right president. We'll have you back on. We'll see. Thanks, brother. Great to see you. Great Thanks. to see you.